Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic building with Fortnite Mobile. So first there are three types of materials. There's wood, brick and metal that you can use in the game. So you get wood from trees, building stacks like this one and also from buildings. So you use your pickaxe to collect resources and if you tap on the blue circle you'll get more resources and gather them faster. So you get bricks from buildings and also rocks and you'll get metal from vehicles, piles of metal and equipment that you find in houses like fridges and sinks and such like. And you'll see how much resources you have at the top right of your screen. So now I'll show you a comparison between the three types of materials by building a wall of wood, brick and metal. So wood builds the fastest and it has the least amount of damage. So it can absorb 200 damage, but that's still a good protection. And brick builds slower than wood and it has higher damage of 300. And metal builds the slowest and has the highest damage of 400. So it takes quite a lot of shots to get metal down. So the controls on mobile for building, first you tap this icon that's on the right of your inventory. And you can change between materials where I'm showing at the bottom of the screen. And you can tap to choose your different shapes, which is underneath the materials to place the building tap that icon on the right and for a basic defense you can build a wall and a ramp or even just a ramp and it will give you a height advantage and also some cover so that's good during a fast firefight but you may want more defense than that because one ramp is easy to knock down so you can build a fort for more protection by surrounding your ramp with walls. You can turbo build by swiping left from the place icon. And as you spin round, the walls will place automatically for you. Then jump to place a second ramp or the ramp will build over the top of your head. So you can build that up and preferably not more than three stories because you can jump from three stories without injury but after that you will get injured. You can edit the buildings by tapping the icon on the right that I'm showing there and if you tap one square then you'll have a window and you need to tap the edit icon again to make that happen. You can remove two squares by tapping them to make a door and that's useful for a sneaky getaway so that your enemy doesn't know that you left your fort. You can also tap two squares on one side and one square on the other side and then you'll have both a window and a door. And the window is helpful for spotting enemies so you can shoot them. But also, if you're held up in a fort, knowing someone's nearby, you can use the edit to try and spot them because you can see through it, whereas they can't see through your wall. So that's a good trick, particularly in the final circle when you're looking for the other people. So for defense, you can make a larger fort and that will confuse the enemy as they won't know exactly where you are. If you make a single fort, then and they throw a grenade in it, they're more likely to hit you. Whereas a larger fort, you've got more area to avoid their rockets and grenades and they won't be so certain of your position. So the height advantage is good from the top of the ramp in your fort. You're more likely to get headshots if you're up high. And you can also use your cover to heal. It's often a good idea to build yourself a small fort before using bandages and shields in case somebody spotted you. He was building in action during a firefight and I built up and so did the other player. And I could spot her through her window there or her door, but in the end, I didn't have the patience to wait because of the storm coming. So you can also shoot down players' defenses 
and because this was a wood one, it didn't take many bullets, so I ended up destroying her structure and getting into a one-to-one -one firefight with her, and that way I could keep on top of the storm. So you can also use buildings to get around the world. You can use ramps to climb mountains quickly, and that can help when the storm's coming too, because if it's a straight line to go over a mountain, that would be helpful rather than round it if you're trying to get out of the storm. You can reach chests and also climb up buildings if you can hear players around and they won't be expecting you to do that. You can also use floors to descend mountains quickly, which is much quicker than trying to build a ramp to descend. But make sure you're close to the mountain so that the floor will attach to it. And you can use existing structures to build within it and that way your structure is already half made. And if you're on top of a house and your structure is destroyed, you at least will land on the house roof, so that can help too. And play 50-50 for more ideas on the potential for building as you will see huge forts being built in that mode at the end. So update 3.6 is coming soon in Fortnite and I'll be covering any changes with that so stay tuned. See you in Fortnite. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favorite channel for Fortnite Mobile and Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.